Yo. All right. What's going on? Welcome back. Uh, so I switched locations because recording on the other uh, computer wasn't turning out so well, but um, it got to the point of crossing out um, on a bigger computer. But that's beside the point. Um, so at this point, you should know how to uh, create uh, a business manager account. Sorry about this. You should know how to create your business manager account. Um, you should know how to go into and create a pixel and place that pixel on your funnel uh, based off of the other two videos. If you do not know how to do that stuff, go back and watch the other two videos. Now, at this point, the only thing that's left is knowing how to navigate Ads Manager, um, how to create a campaign, uh, an ad set, and an ad so that you can start running ads. All right? So, cool. Um, in order to get to Ads Manager, you'll go up here, uh, top left, and then boom, the, the thing, Ads Manager is right here. Uh, when you first load up Business Manager, this is normally the screen that you'll get. Um, and then you'll just uh, go right here. Uh, and if you don't have an ad account set up already, Business Settings, Ad Accounts on the left, and then Add, Create a New Ad Account. Uh, and then you'll just name it and then you're good. It's not going to let me make another one because I already have one. Uh, and if you want more, you have to contact Facebook directly and ask them uh, to give you access to be able to create more ad accounts, all right? So, cool. You have an ad account, you've officially gone to Ads Manager. Now is the time to create the ad. So, we're gonna go right here to the green Create button and uh, as you can see, I was trying to do this earlier, but it wasn't working out, so I'm gonna start from the top. Uh, so awesome. Uh, you might not have the screen. It might, it might show you this screen, um, but you can switch back and forth. If you're just starting out with ads, I would suggest doing the guided creation because it's a little easier on the eyes. And awesome. So what it's going to start off is asking you what objective you want for the campaign. Uh, the easiest way to explain what a campaign is, is literally ob the objective for any ad that you place under it. Sort of like the umbrella, and then you have like certain things under it. Uh, if like if it's sort of like folders where, okay, cool, there's, um, that's a little uh, complicated. All right, so, uh, so I have a folder, pretend like this is a campaign. And then within that folder, I can have uh, an ad set. Um, I can have multiple ad sets actually. So I can go in and I can have multiple ad sets in here. And then within each ad set, I can have multiple ads. So I can have multiple ads uh, in every single one of these ad sets. Uh, okay, it's not on me, whatever. Um, and then uh, whatever this campaign is, is um, gonna be the objective for all of these ad sets. All of these ad sets can have like different targeting stuff, which you'll see, um, and then every ad can be different as well, but that's basically how the ad, uh, the campaign works. So um, what um, right here is where you choose what the objective is, what the marketing objective is. Um, right here, we have all the different types of objectives which uh, you can go ahead and do more research on um, as far as like what each one does but brand awareness and reach uh, it, a lot of it is um, uh, self-explanatory traffic getting people to click engagement getting people to engage with the ad app installs video views lead generation I would ignore uh, messages, conversions, catalog sales for Shopify stores, online stores, and store visits. A lot of these are self-explanatory. Uh, conversions means you're getting someone to take an action. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that one so you can see what that one is like because uh, it'll be able to explain it more. Campaign name. Um, normally I like to name it after what the ad is going to be for. So uh, let's assume that you're trying to get people to apply for an application for something. Um, so application, and then I'll put the objective right here so it's easy for me to find it and be able to look at stuff without having to uh, go searching through the ad and looking through the settings in order to figure out what it is. Uh, so go ahead, set up ad account. Um, 
it's going to have me do that every time because I don't have an actual payment uh, set up on here. Um, but you shouldn't have to do that. It should just skip straight to ad set. So cool, we're in ad set. I'm not going to name it quite yet because I want to do the settings first. Um, so you're going to select the conversion events or whatever it is that, like if it's traffic, it's going to be like, okay, uh, cool traffic, like you're good, um, landing page views. Like it, this will be, this part will be different depending on what it is that you have going on. Uh, but right now we're on conversion, so go ahead and choose what I want the conversion to be. You can do multiple different things, view content, add to cart. You can uh, make it so that Facebook's trying to get people to add something to the cart, uh, initiate checkout, make a purchase. As you, you, you've seen a lot of these standard events in the previous video, uh, so you should know what all of these are about. Um, and then we have one that says submit application. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one. Um, no need to verify the pixel. That's only just because I haven't like used this pixel. So everything's gonna turn out red. You know it's firing properly if this is green, uh, which yours should be if as long as you're actually hitting the pages that you're putting the pixel on. So let's ignore dynamic creative and offer for now. These are more advanced things, uh, but something that's worth looking into. Uh, custom audiences, um, you can make look-alike audiences and, and custom audiences of people who have hit certain pages. More advanced stuff. Um, we're, we're just going to go over the basics. So location. You can uh, set it to everyone, people who live, people who recently been there, people traveling to very specific locations. Uh, so you can set it to people who live. Um, and then you can literally pick any parts of the world keep in mind where Facebook is actually allowed like it, Facebook isn't allowed in certain places but you can literally put like down to the city uh, Los Angeles California um, and now uh, when I said it's a current city only that means it's literally going to be everyone who lives in the Los Angeles area um, you can pick multiple cities um, if this will load there it goes so you can pick multiple cities. Um, you can even go down to the very specifics. Uh, boom. So it can even be as specific as just Manhattan versus all of New York. Uh, so um, I'll just go ahead and leave it at that. You can also pick the age of the people that you want to see this. Uh, so I can set it to like 30 to... Uh, 40 year old women um, and they have to have their settings set to English on Facebook um, so now we have it at 1.5 million people like it lets you know how many people is actually going to see it uh, potentially um, next we'll be going to detail targeting so um, the, the example that's pretty much in every single uh, YouTube video on the internet is the yoga niche so I'll just go ahead and use that one uh, so you can li literally go make sure that the only people who see this ad are people who are interested in yoga and Facebook knows that based off of their website's history, the pages that they're following on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Facebook knows all of these things. What I normally like to do is just, just find the, the main broad interest that I'm going after and then you can just hit suggestions and then it'll give you a bunch of different uh, potential suggestions that you would want to look through. Um, so health and wellness. Uh, meditation, mindfulness, self-care, just m multiple different things so you can uh, throw all of the ones that you feel um, make sense to put in there uh, that people might be interested in. Um, I would always turn that off. Uh, next, um, you can either have it placed everywhere on Facebook and let Facebook try to figure it out, which I would not suggest doing. Um, and then you, what you can do is make it so that it only shows up in the actual feed. So if you hover over it, it lets you see, um, as you see in this little uh, area right here. So if you stay here, um, if you hover over it, it's like, oh, okay, so when someone's scrolling, it'll show up in their feed. Um, these are all the other places where it could potentially show up, um, which I would not suggest using. Um, you could also have it show up in the Instagram feed. You can do Instagram stories, um, Instagram story ads as well, um, or just Instagram feed. Um, everything else I would turn off 100%. It's worth testing, 
but the primary ones that are going to help you are just placing them in the feed where people are scrolling. Um, and then you can do that the exact way that that, it, that showed, where edit placements and then make sure only these two are checked. Um, it says recommended, don't, don't believe that. Um, next, uh, all mobile devices, only one connected to Wi-Fi. Um, notice the potential reach is going down because I'm narrowing uh, the people who are actually gonna see it. Next is the budget. Um, this is based entirely off of how much you can afford. Um, but I would not go under $5 a day. Um, you can have it set to a schedule. Uh, that's getting into the more advanced stuff, so I would just run ad set continuously. Um, that would be the, the, base, the basic starting point. So awesome, we have everything set up. So $5 a day, um, Facebook, Instagram feeds, women, um, 30 to 40, Los Angeles and New York. So I would literally name it like that. Um, plus what I believe the ad is going to be. So um, ad, ad picture number one, whatever the ad is, actually, is, is going to be. Uh, and then um, women, 30 to 40. Um, so women, 30 to 40. They speak English, Facebook and Instagram feeds, Facebook, Instagram, and then yoga. So now I can just look at that and I know exactly what is in there. Um, awesome. So next is continue. Uh, now is the point where we, we start figuring out where the ad is going to be placed. Uh, so and you need to have a Facebook page, but you don't. it doesn't actually have to run ads from there, but it just needs to exist. Um, as we showed uh, earlier um, and then you can just run ads to the Instagram feed if you really want to um, next you pick where what sort of ad you want to run so you can run carousel ads where it's multiple images single image ads where uh, pretty self-explanatory um, let's find an image I'll just pick that one awesome so it could be a single image ad uh, there could be a video self-explanatory slideshow pretty self-explanatory collection um, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about these two uh, I would just focus on these three um, primarily these two right here unless you're running uh, a Shopify store so single image perfectly fine um, next this is where you would write the text all of the copy you would pay, pay, paste your link there um, you would write your headline so just so you can see where everything shows up text this is going to be the description um, this is going to be the link uh, whatever link it is that you have um, the headline would go here and the headline is this stuff right here um, learn, uh, call to action is what this button is right here so it can be anything any of these uh, any of these whatever makes uh, the most sense learn more um, apply now um, would be the best in this situation because it's an application so you can hit apply now but learn more would also make make sense sign up um, is normally an option yeah, yeah, yeah sign up would also make sense um, just it's about testing um, display link optional but yeah I mean you're, you're welcome to use it news feed link description is the stuff that pops up down there so it's worth using um, just keep in mind where it ends Boom. So it, it only shows so much. So keep in mind, keep that in mind. Um, don't use that. Boom. Make sure your pixel is on. And then at the end, you would hit confirm. And then your ad is officially running. Um, I can't hit confirm because I don't have a card on this account or a bank account set up. So um, that is basically it in terms of getting the ad running. Um, and then in the end, um, I don't know if it'll show up, but uh, so if I go back to Ads Manager, it's not going to show up right now, but um, continue. Let's see what happens if I just try to confirm. Yeah, it's just going to ask for my card information. So let's see. Switch to creation. 
test, test, test. Awesome. So this is what it'll look like um, once you have everything set up. Close. All right. So it'll show the campaigns here. Your ad set will be here, and then your ad will be here. Uh, and then you'll be able to see all the stats, um, how much you're spending, whether or not you're actually getting results. Um, it'll, get, it'll give you all of that information. You'll be able to have multiple campaigns doing multiple things, um, and then your ad will be set up. Um, and that's the basics of getting set up inside of Facebook Ads Manager and getting an ad set up and ready to go. hope that was understandable. I hope you learned a lot. Um, and thanks for watching. Peace.